For anyone looking for the best RAM for their new Ryzen 9 5950X, this video is for you. We will discuss what to look for in RAM, which brands are considered best, and how much you should spend on your purchase. So without any further ado, let's start. I'll leave the links to discussed RAMs in the description. You can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. If you've ever built a PC, you've probably heard of Corsair's Vengeance memory. It's a great choice for people who don't want to spend too much, but still want a good overall package. The Vengeance RGB Pro kit is no exception in that regard, and it's an excellent choice for a new AMD build. On the outside, the design is rather subtle, if not a bit boring. The heat spreader is black on both sides, and it does a great job of dissipating any and all heat from the memory. On top, you have RGB lights that can be customized with Corsair's iCUE software. They look pretty nice, and if you have other Corsair products, you can sync the lights with them, too. In terms of performance, the modules run at 3600 MHz, which is reasonable but nothing to write home about. You do, however, get CL18 timings, which is pretty good. The PCB is performance-oriented, and you're also looking at carefully screened ICS to ensure overclocking goes smoothly, and there's a bit of headroom, too. The only potential issue we see with these modules is the physical height. It might be a bit too restrictive if you're using a large air cooler for the CPU, but if you're not, by all means, go for it. At number 2, its G-Skill Ripjaws VG-Skill isn't all about RGB nowadays. They still have some of their more subtle, value-oriented kits. The Ripjaws V-Kit is a perfect example of that, with an almost boring design that has one fatal flaw, but actually excellent performance. Let's go with the design first. This is a RAM kit with two modules, and they come with an all-black heat spreader. This is the almost boring part of the design. However, that heat spreader goes rather high, and this might be a problem if you're using a beefy air cooler for your Ryzen 9 5950X. If there were lights or something else that takes up space, we'd understand, but without those things, we don't see why G-Skill couldn't lower the heat spreader a bit. If you don't mind that, though, you've got a total of 32 GB of RAM, running at 3600 MHz. However, you also have 16, 19, 19, 39 timings, which is pretty tight and makes sure performance is excellent. Yes, some will say that it could have been faster, but this is G2Skill's value-oriented kit, and at this price, you won't find faster RAM. Now, provided you're using a more compact air cooler or you go for liquid cooling, this is actually one of the best options on the market, especially if you're working with a limited budget. At number three, it's G-Skill Trident C Neo. The Trident Z Neo is one of G Skill's best selling memory kits at the moment. And if you're wondering why, the answer is that it gets you a combination of performance, looks, and price that you won't get with many other kits. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, read on. First things first, the Trident Z Neo kit comes with two 16 GB modules, each of which runs at 3600 MHz. This is pretty good for a modern CPU, and you'll have no issues in terms of performance. You also get 18, 22, 22, 42 timings as well, which is good considering the module size and the frequency they run at. When it comes to performance, there are no issues here. Looks are taken care of as well. You get the expected black and white design that G-Skill has been going with for a while now, as well as the RGB lights at the top. This is one of the downsides, though because G-Skill wants you to download their own software instead of allowing you to control the lights with your own. A small thing to complain about, but it would have been nice. If that doesn't bother you, though, and you want to get good performance without spending too much money, you should add the kit to your shortlist. At number 4, it's Crucial Ballistics RGB. You'll probably find a lot of RAM kits that are made to work well with an all-black build, but how many actually work with something that needs a splash of white? Well, Crucial has you covered with the Ballistics RGB kit, which comes in white color, and honestly looks really good. The heat spreader on the sides is beautiful, coming in a matte white color with both the Crucial and the Ballistics logos on the side. Functionally, it also does a great job, because it dissipates heat from the modules themselves, which is nice. On top, you get an RGB light with 16 LED in 8 zones. 
These are compatible with the light control software for most popular manufacturers, so you won't need a separate piece of software to be able to control them. It's not just about looks, though, and we have zero complaints in the performance department, too. While 3600 MHz isn't too fast by today's standards, the kit comes with CL16 timings, which is great and a lot better than most of the competition. Performance is honestly great, and the compatibility with XMP 2.0 means you don't have to bother overclocking things yourself, that's done for you. Last but not least, you have a reasonable price too, so if you're limited in terms of budget, this is still an excellent choice. At number 5, it's Corsair Vengeance LPX. One thing that many modern RAM kits have in common is the issue with high-profile heat spreaders. Yes, liquid cooling is all the rage, but some people would prefer an air cooler for their CPU, and a high-profile heat spreader causes compatibility issues with that. If that's one of your concerns, you should give the Vengeance LPX kit by Corsair a chance. This kit comes with no RGB lights and a compact heat spreader that doesn't take up a lot of space. Functionally, though, it does a great job of keeping the modules cool. This is an all-black kit, with the only accent being the yellow Vengeance logo on the sides. It still looks pretty good, and will definitely fit in with your color scheme. You can't go wrong with black, right? Let's discuss the performance. One of the best things about the Vengeance LPX kit is that Corsair handpicks memory chips to make sure you have plenty of overclocking headroom, and you get the best performance possible out of the chips. Pair this with CL18 timings and modules running at 3600 MHz, and you're looking at an excellent performer for your Ryzen 9 5950X, and best of all. It won't set you back too much either, which makes the Vengeance LPX kit an even more attractive pick. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this detailed guide helps you to choose the best RAM 